Uh, my friend, Reverend Lynn Morrow, I have known her since I've been coming to Center of Enlightenment. Um, she, has, she was ordained and licensed from the Church of Harmony. She is a professional psychic detective, violent crimes unit, missing persons, crime stoppers. Her talents include channeling, medical intuition, animal communication, psychometry, healing, alternative medicine, shuring and dousing, empath, and dive teams. Her hobbies include channeling with her husband, Reverend Michael Morrow, and her daughter, Louise Grace, and family unity. Welcome me in welcoming Reverend Lynn Morrow. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend Gina. My sermon is entitled, Believe in Yourself. So if everybody could turn to page 21 in the booklet, and please keep these afterwards as a souvenir. It is called, uh, First Be Still and Know That I Am, by our own Reverend Kathleen Ann Cosmo. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. I accept serenity and surrendering to the things I cannot change, self-love for doing it anyways, the things I can, and grateful for knowing the difference. There is joy in the presence of knowing. Do I welcome opportunities of such joy? My daily awareness concerns my attitude, which affects my present and future life experiences. Experiencing the ascension attitudes, surrender, love, and gratitude deeply enough can be an invincible healing force. Being still and knowing I am loved. If I am feeling burdened by life circumstances, I choose to be still, turning inward. I affirm God's presence in me and all around me. While it may be easy to see divinity in a serene sunset or a newborn baby, I know that God is also present, present in the difficult experiences of life. Through stillness and silence, I become present to the divine in me and thee. I know that all is well. When the mind and heart are still, when I no longer allow my thoughts to rest on external concerns, God is revealed. As I release my needs to God, I am comforted. I am led out of turmoil into peace. As my worries transform into peace of mind and heart, I become a sanctuary for others. My influence is calming and comforting. Be still and know that I am. The Essenes follow the th three paths to universal knowledge, intuition, nature, and culture. To use intuition, I recognize the knowledge I've gained from work, training, hobbies, and passions. They prepare me for my divine plan, allowing their meaning and feeling to resonate within me opens my heart to the insight needed for full awakening. I accept my role as a co-creator with God. I can also immerse myself in nature or art, gaining more knowledge and joy for my divine purpose. Reflecting on my life purpose strengthens my spiritual resolve. Knowing myself, including my birth details, family, gifts, quirks, etc., helps me identify what to nurture and what to discard. Like summer turning to fall, I trust that what I've sown is growing. I know what I care for and th can thrive. So today, I acknowledge the uncertainty of a changing world, but I have faith that I can endure and grow. My personal well-being depends on our unity, and I will do my part because in stillness, I know I am loved and we rise. God is ever actively sustaining the good and bringing forth an ultimate and finer good from all evil, from White Eagle. My Bible verse today is, I live in God's favor and protection. So as we advance our soul through Akashic Path, uh, uh, ancient texts, 
a book of the dead, the book of life, etc. Uh, we need to waken to our higher selves and treat ourselves with respect and value the tools that God had given all of us. Be alive in your heart. Be alive in the community. Be alive with loving yourself. As we connect with energetic fields, we are all one. An EEG cap projects out our thoughts through our frequency. That's why it's so important to control our thoughts and what we project out into the world. Our mind generates waves like radio waves. Change the negative waves to change your future thought forms and heal. Create your own universe. Make your happiness your reality. This is a plan for us to learn and your mission of experiences. It doesn't matter what you did wrong before. Learn from that, heal it, and don't repeat it as much as possible. Our goal should be to become a better person every time, every day, to evolve into the best person that we can be. So make every effort to have growth consciously. So when you look back on your life, you're not where you used to be, but you will know that you're taking positive steps forward and will be a happier person and healed as you advance through the Mother, Father, God force. Be a, a heavenly being instead of a human being. That's what you give your strength to and be strong enough to live out your days and remove all stress. That's what I have to do every single day. Allow more happiness into your life. Happy people heal faster. Love heals everything. Also, um, as for a sign from Mother, Father, God, that's why I chose the song, I'm a Believer. I was raised a very strict Catholic, and um, the Bible was everything. Uh, I never heard of Mother, God, and I kept seeing this woman. Uh, like a Lady Godiva sparkly woman, sparkly people. And I said, who in Sam hell are you? And she said, I'm Asna, Mother God. And I said, Mother God? Oh, that blew my mind. So I ask for signs now constantly. I channel constantly, all day long, 24 seven, meditate about five hours a day. And I ask to see their face. So Mother, Father God, show me your face. They show me their face, there they are. It's kind of like a there because they're a combo and stuck together like Siamese twin, unless they're focusing me on a nurturing aspect or a stronger aspect for like a more re role reversal kind of, I don't know, uh, change that uh, evolves me. And as I obtain that um, message and understanding, it, it seems like I evolve faster from that lesson to change from one role to the next. And I don't mean, you know, whatever a baker to whatever a race car driver. I mean, change from a male to a female role to use both sides and balance out my own energies. So believe that you can do it. Ask for a uh, sign, ask to see uh, there, ask it in your dreams. They'll always come to you and you'll know it's just like sparkly person or a lot of people say, the faceless man, the faceless woman, that's them, okay? Know it, trust it, you know, move through it. So do not fear it, believe that you can do it, and, um, and you will succeed. You've got this, and uh, in closing, accept what is, let go of what was, and have faith that it will be, it's all good, so believe in yourself, and I thank you very much.